Hello, Quid Nation, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. And today, we're going to be beating Frostbite Caves day 26 all the way to day 30. So let's just get right into it. But first, let's do a bit of arena. Yeah, that was too easy, 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 easy. Also, I can see this person had no leveled up plants, and of course was using the magnet shroom. But yeah, I only used lightning reach just, just for the sake of it, just to show that this, that you could still do this easy without cold snapdragon. Oh, give me that. Yeah, that was too easy. But now, it is time for Penny's Pursuit. Yeah, that was too easy, even though I did have to use power-ups because of the whole energy bar thing, but, you know, it's, I mean, it's alright. Alright, give me that perk. Off the perk. I mean, it's alright, like... <laughs> there we go. I mean, it's alright. <laughs> but now, it is time for a Zomboss time-lapse. I mean, this one actually gives me seeds other than premium plants, but it's so hard. There's no way I can do that. Yeah, that was too easy! I sure hope EDP doesn't interrupt me. Where's some chili beans? Get out of here, Snowpea. Yeah, I feel like these Dr. Zomboss fights are a little unbalanced due to the fact that you get infinite lawnmowers, so your only incentive here is basically to just use Cherry Bomb as much as you can and then harvest gems from it. But anyways, now it is time to play the pinata party. So let's just get right into it. What am I gonna get? All right, let's see. I sure hope I get something useful other than snow or called Snapdragon. I guess I'll have to find out. Oh, we got we got some kernels. All right, I get some of you. Also, I did buy a costume for the bonk choy. I just never used it until this newest bit word. All right, let's buy you. Oh no, no crystal skull zombies. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Also, there's no music. Hopefully, I remember to edit that in, because one time I forgot. Alright, get out of here, zombies. Bro, this butter. It's not giving me what I want. No, get out of here. 
<laughs> Alright, fine, you see Darian. Bro, no! What am I supposed to do? Why is it this bad? Oh no. Oh, just look at all of it. It's insanity. It's insanity. What am I supposed to do? Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh get in here, get in here. Uh you go. Alright, I got one of them. Oh, I already lost the lawnmower on it. Suck, suck, suck. Let me think, let me think. I get you. Alright, so let's just spam Colonel Pulse. Go! Weather explosion. Alright, let me see here. Uh, get some of you. Let's get some more butter. Go! There we go. Alright, get some more Endarians. Get some more Bok Choys. I don't know, this Pinata party is a bit of a weird one, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Because it, it still seems pretty easy in spite of the obvious zombie spam issues I got going on in some of these rows. I'm gonna have to let that lane go, probably. Cause look at that, what am I supposed to do? Get it. Uh, look at that madness, what am I supposed to do? I want it to suck. Go! I want it to suck, that was useless. Alright, get in here. Yeah, that was an easy one! Oh boy, I wonder what useful seed packets I'm gonna get. They're gonna be some wonderful seed packets. There's gonna be mm -hmm, chili pea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, that's my reaction. Now it's time for EDP. Alright, get out of here, EDP. <laughs> no! No, I don't like Gold Snat Dragon! You know for a fact they're only giving me those seed packets, so I'll buy the plant. But I refuse to let EA win. Alright, give me that daily quid. Now it is time for day 26. But I hope you enjoy this being one of the last of the brief vid words, because the next vid word, it's gonna be an hour. Or around an hour. Cause they're gonna add a brand new event, Lunar Zoo Year. I hope you're ready, kids. I hope you're ready, quids. I didn't say kids, I said quids. I was trying to reference one job, but then I re remembered the cop update. Uh, this is not made for kids, this is made for quids. Would like to legally clarify that. Anyways. I'm gonna probably bring just the setup. They're giving me Rotobagus for free, so. Why the sun shrooms? Why the why the Dark Ages plants? Were you out of ideas? Did you already run out of ideas, EA? Alright. <laughs> sure, why not? Sunshrooms. I don't get it. Why use sunshrooms from Dark Ages? This world takes place before Dark Ages. You're not even supposed to be showing these off yet. This is spoilers. I mean, I know this is made after Dark Ages in chronological order of when they made it, but like, on a top, man. Oh, silly, silly EA. Goofy all EA. It's been a year, EA. I really, really miss you. Yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see it's been a year, EA. Alright, let me see here. Oh, on it. Sock, sock, sock. No, 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 use you. Uh, use you. Okay, give me that, give me that, give me that. Walnut, walnut, walnut. Go! 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 Fine, I'll let that lane go. No, suck, 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 sucky 50. Go, 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 Rotobagas. I swear, Rotobagas, are you even useful here? Uh, Rotobagas do not fit in their native world. I ain't even gonna lie. I get you. Yeah, quiver grind set tip. Uh, when you're designing a game, please make sure your items are fitting in the world. <laughs> like, I don't get the Rotobagas here. Oh, I suck. There's too many weasels. No. So it seems like two lanes of fire peas take care of weasels just as well as the Rota Vegas. I mean, it's alright, but... Like... <laughs> alright, eat the floor. Alright, let me get more fire peas. Yeah, no weasels! There will be no weasels in the morgue's mansion! Yeah, Morgz, he was on that grind set. 
Mark should come back. His vid roots were great. But I'm sure he's already got enough of a living at this point that he should actually make a passive income and not screech at the camera for the views. But, uh, unfortunately, I'm still at the stage where I screech at the camera for views. Oh well, also something ate one of my sunshrooms. I really don't get the addition of the sunshroom here. What was that for? Whatever. I ain't gonna question it. Fire fire P is getting here. <laughs> Dr. Nefarge. Yeah, that was too easy! And now I have unlocked the Road Obega. For the second time. Yeah. I already unlocked it last Midward if you're wondering, so go rewatch that one if you if you didn't know that I already got it. But I do get seed packets, so that's nice. Helps me in that seed packet grind. No, EDP! I don't know if I was able to go to the Zen Jordan or not. <laughs> I don't know if I just accidentally clicked next level. No, uh, EDP! Now I gotta protect the endangered plants. But first, let me upgrade you. Because now I have 60 seed packets. Yeah, get in here! <laughs> Why is level 3 so expensive? I could only get it to level 2. Oh well, I can upgrade Cabbage Pole to level 4. Now it does as much damage as Pepper Pole, actually. Is that right? I think my Cabbage Pole now outclasses Pepper Pole. Huh. Well, let me go to the Zen Jarton. Leveling's a little unbalanced in this game, you gotta deal with that. On its fault. Reached all of you. Alright, get in here. <laughs> Repeater is a great one trap boosted. I'm surprised it did not give me split pee. It really loves giving me those. Alright, let's use you. EDB, yeah, 445. But yeah, after I do Lunar Zoo Year, I will start doing some Face Breaker, le face breaker levels. Alright, let's pre protect these endangered rotabagas. Alright, so let's bring my setup here. I'm gonna bring some of you. I'm gonna bring... Bring chilling. Let me see what I want to bring. Yeah, I'll probably bring fire pea and, of course, cabbage pulp. Get some walnuts and get some instants. Alright, this setup should work. I'm kind of using the same setup here over and over again, though. Maybe I should vary that a little bit. I don't know, are you, are, you, are you bored of seeing the same setups over and over again? I mean, if it works, it works, like... I mean, this stuff gets the job done here. Alright, let me use Boosted Walnut. Then let me get Cabbage Bolt. Ponder my cabbage. From Bee Swarm. Because now Cabbage Bolt does as much damage as Pepper Bolt, I believe, according to the Almanac, so... Yeah, just look at that devastation. Oh, I am going to actually get some Boosted Walnuts here. So you can eat the fart while I wait for that walnut recharge to go down. So let me think. Get one here. Alright. Once again, yet another four flag level. They really love showing me these long levels. So I hope you enjoy watching them. I'm sure you enjoy clicking on a favorite being like, Oh boy, I'm sure this one will be nice and simple. And then seeing four flag levels. Oh no. Also, I misplaced that. I'm really bad. Alright, let me get some fire peas. But let me also get some cabbages. These cabbages are doing a pretty good job here. No, no birdies from the Garten of Bon Bon! Oh, and it sucked. Let me think, let me think. Get one of you. Alright, and I'm gonna probably also get... And maybe one of you. No birdies! Get Rotobega! Get out of here! Yeah, that's easy! Easy birdies, fam! So, I'm gonna get rid of you. I get rid of this twin sunflower at the top. I know I'm not sunflower spamming optimally, but I got plenty of sun, it's fine. No, 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 no. Not you, not you, not you, not you. Get out of here. What happens if an imp touches that kid named Finger? Let's find out. I'm actually really curious. I'm gonna leave that lane a bit empty for now. Alright, go Troglodyte, push it. No, it died first! Oh, I was actually really curious. Oh well. 
because I wonder what happens if a frozen imp block touches the kid named Finger. Which, yeah, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, those pointy ice blocks that move the zombie's direction, that's called a kid named Finger. Uh, it was confirmed by the devs, uh, don't look it up, because the science is up. Go, fire piece. Alright, we just got some ice blocks. Not bad, not bad. Well, I guess you'll never know what happens if an ice block touches the kid named Finger. Teacher. Okay, class, today we are going to be finger painting the kid named Finger. Yeah, get in here. Not much to say other than the fact that the cabbage pole is kind of broken due to all the levels I've given it. Yeah, just look at that. Oh, it actually froze one of my... One of my walnuts. I get frozen. Also, I think I missed a quid. I'm not for sure. Hopefully I didn't. Go! Uh, I don't know, sometimes I'm imagining things. Because one time I thought I lost the quid and I actually didn't. I looked back in the footage and I did not. Also, this walnut is too weak. No, I can't shovel it now. Alright, get in here. Let's replace it with a boosted. There we go. That's nuts! <laughs> Not a reference to any other type of nut. Just, you know, being nuts, like as in, you know, cuckoo crazy, not as in anything else, like on it. <laughs> Bro, get out of here, dodos. Bro, this level really just wants to spam everything. Get out of here. No, 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 no imps there. Those imps, those are some cheeky imps. Get out of here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. No! No! Why? Why is he mean to me? Me and me? No! <laughs> oh, that was scary. That's the one. Easy. That almost ate my Roto Vega. If it wasn't just a little bit stronger, I would have lost. I right, give him that quest complete. No! That was scary. That imp almost cost me the game. All right. Give me that. Alright, so I got a gem. Or three gems. Jemmy. Now it is time to go to the Zen Jarten. Because, you know, y it yeah, quartered grind set tip. Go to the Zen Jarten. Just get the mats. I've said it before and I've said it again. This is just because I know for a fact no one has watched every single episode, so I gotta remind them why I do this stuff. Because going to the Zen Jarten lets you skip ads, so you can't always do it. Though it's still worth it to do it if you got the opportunity. Now it is on. Today, 28. I'm getting close to the Tusk Master. <laughs> Go! Tusk Master. We're getting close. Yeah, the Tusk Master is a weird one. Like, Dr. Zombus, he just like rides an elephant. I don't know. You you'll have to see it to believe it. They really love Garg Spam here, don't they? Well, onto the. Pr oh! Is this last stand? Oh, I'm feeling a bit devious. I think I know what I'm gonna do. First, let's bring Boosted Stunny in just in case. So normally I'd try Repeat or Torchwood, but this time I think I got a different strat, and it doesn't involve Lightning Reach. Lightning Reach spam. So let me try this out. All right, so first let's get some Fire Peas. Then let's get some Cabbage Bolts. Because now that it's level four, it's really good. Because it also costs 75 sun less than, like, what, the pepper pulp? Alright, so I can't afford any more of these. So I'm gonna get maybe one here and one here for insulation. And then get, yeah, more cabbage pulps. Yeah, that's probably good. Alright, let's just get right into it. I mean, it's not a perfect setup, but, you know. I'm sure it'll definitely sweep before. Yeah, look at that! It got rid of the cone with just two cabbages! The cabbage is from Bee Swarm, go! Use all of your power harvested from my years of pondering. After pondering my cabbage for over 20 episodes in Bee Swarm, I finally become the cabbage master. Oh dear, the, the weasels are a bit of a problem though, but I got stunning for that just in case. Yeah, always ponder your cabbage, it will always give you wonderful loot. Just kidding, never, never ponder the cabbages from Bee Swarm. There we go. Now I got a sunny in here. Go! 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 I think one of them cabbage bolts gonna get eaten. I can bet. Ah, boost you. 
Yeah, they're they're using a bit of an ice wind here. Wait, did that stunning just disappear? I don't know if it even used the Mr. Stinky effect. Yeah, I got some boosted Mr. Stinky, which is always nice to have, because Mr. Stinky, I didn't think we'd see him after he went to prison, but he's still here. Speaking of prison, have you heard the latest Chris Chan news? <laughs> I know it's a bit odd to talk about Chris Chan in this Let's Play, but keep in mind, he's the first Let's Player. You should watch Chris Chan and Comprehensive History if you haven't. It's a really great documentary. It's very comprehensive. I get it here. Hard! Oh, that didn't... That didn't stinky the one I wanted. Get out of here. Go on, it's suck. Well, there goes my last son. Go! Yeah, Christian, some troll met him in prison. <laughs> he was so creepy. It's like a horror story. Who knows, maybe I'll bring back Quidward Bedtime Stories to read it. So I'm kind of occupied with doing Plants for Zombies 2 every day. So I don't know. But now, I've gotten the quiz. Alright, Zen, Jartan. Alright, I've lost my stunion. Goodbye, Mr. Stinky. You weren't that useful because it was the last stand level, but you were great for emergencies. Now it is on to level 29, or day 29. They call them days in this. Alright, let's just get right into it. <clears throat> oh, I still got that 8 month hole. Is this a conveyor level? No, they just choose my plants for me. But they gave me the fire pea, so it's basically already <laughs> already a W with the fire peas in here. I get it. Also, I think they want me to place them sunflowers in the back. Something's telling me that. Because they put those sunflowers right there. I don't want to put my sunflowers in the back. I don't want to. No. What do you mean to me? Oh, well, that's fine. Alright, let's get maybe a walnut here and then get some more sunflowers. They also gave me the rotobaga, which once again, I do not see much of a use for rotobaga here. I just don't. Fire pea outclasses it, cabbage pole outclasses it, and so like... Eh. It's important for Big Wave Beach though. It is very important for Big Wave Beach. That's one thing you gotta consider. But for now, it's just kind of eh. Alright, so let's get you in here. Let's also get some rotobaga. Alright, let's use Mr. Stinky, go! There we go, Mr. Stinky from Mr. Stinky RPG. Classic hit game from Roblox, you should play it. Yeah, look up Mr. Stinky RPG on Roblox. Or better yet, look up Mr. Stinky on Google. Alright, use, use Mr. Stinky. Alright, let's get more fire bees. Go! Let me think. Well, I guess they didn't need to think, because that wave was destroyed instantly. I think what I want to do... Shovel these sunflowers, start placing fire peas. Looks like it's me. Maybe move a few sunflowers up to the front, even though I don't know if it'll be that useful, other than for stalling. Because sunflowers are great meat shields. Is there any weasels? There's actually not. I feel like they went a little easy on me for this second to last level here. Alright, let's use more Rotobagus. Let's use more Fire Peas. Let's use Mr. Stinky. I mean, not much to comment on here other than the fact that this defense looks messy. Oh, no. Alright, I mean, none of the rows are balanced at all. It's just random stuff I threw in there. I mean, it works. It gets the job done here. I say other than it works. When I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job. And it just so happens that the thing that fits this job is the fire beam. They're clearly wanting me to buy it for gems, but I already got it for gems. <laughs> so I cracked the system. Go! Oh, there's so much madness! This looks like one of the main menu screens. <laughs> Like how in Plants vs. Zombies, whenever you first boot up the game, it shows the most messy defense ever made. Uh, get in here. Get in here. Give me them seeds. What am I gonna get? <laughs> EDP! 
<laughs> yeah, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. They didn't actually give me a pop-up to unlock the Dr. Zomboss level. Normally it does. I don't get it. That means I have to see EDP. No! <laughs> Alright, I'm back from EDP at 445. <laughs> trying to sell me more. Uh... Whatever exactly EDP is advertising for. But now it is time to fight Dr. Zomboss. Oh, now! Now you give me the quest. You, d you didn't give it to me earlier. Thanks, game. <laughs> Alright, let me hop on. Alright, what's it gonna be? Greetings, that's me, Dr. Zomboss. So I accidentally clicked a button. <laughs> Could it be trap? Could it be trick? Chew on that, mwahaha, unga gunga. Oh, you can just slow it down if you like to see it. Daddy, my taco! User Dave, ignore the taco, ignore the taunts. It's time to fight Dr. Zomboss. I think it was trying to say like, User Dave, what if I already ate your taco, or what if you already lost the taco? I don't know, I accidentally clicked, so I would never know. Ooh, that's some banger music right there. Alright, get in here. Alright, so we got some three Peters. Which is a little weird because that's pirate seas, but whatever. Alright, you see Roto Mega? Alright, let's see. I guess I don't need hot potato. Of course, I got the fire peas. No, Dr. Zombas. Yeah, yeah, I like how this Dr. Zombas is an elephant. It reminds me of uh, my baby elephant who had diarrhea in the Galleria. You see, there's a famous folklore rhyme that goes like this. My baby elephant had diarrhea, so he took a big poop in the galleria. Yeah, that's a grind set rap right there. <laughs> Yeet's got competition. <laughs> bro, little Yachty, get out of here, bro. We got my baby elephant in the studio. Get in here. But yeah, also, one time in uh, this state, someone bring like a ton of elephants to the Congress in protest. Because, like, the elephants is a symbol of their political party, so they literally bring in elephants. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm done with my elephant story. It's time to reveal the fact that this is actually a woolly mammoth and not an elephant. <laughs> Sorry, you've been bamboozled. It's not an elephant. Alright, get in here, fire these. No! No, you can't do that to me! No! Either way, the song boss is still going down pretty easy. Thanks to all the three Peters in here. I don't get the addition of 3 Peter, but I don't mind it. I feel like EA didn't know what they were doing when they made half of these levels. Uh, I mean, it's like, why the 3 Peter out of anything? Just use more Frostbite Haze plants. Alright, get in here. Yeah, that was true. Easy! Easy, easy, easy! Not even a challenge. <laughs> of course, I ain't doing the world disc, since I did still die a few times. I only do the world disc if I absolutely sweep the floor with the world. Well done, we have defeated Dr. Zomboss. <laughs> it is a time to make me question my taco! It's the day of our journey through time. You know that it is about more than just a taco. What? I suppose you're right, Penny! It's also about... Microtransactions for today. It's about microtransactions. <laughs> Ah, Dr. Zombas not defeated. Dr. Zombas crawl back from brink of destruction. Dr. Zombas return when you know I expect him. Bring big surprise! Dr. Zombas stop speaking about self in third person now. Goodbye. Now I have unlocked the lost city. Discover the vanished city of gold where sun is plentiful and misplaced zombies abound. Use special tiles for extra sun for these treasure seekers are no idle threat. Just like super idle. Alright, give me that. <laughs> I mean, it's alright. Anyways. No, it's EDP! Bro, get out of here, EDP. Well, this has been the final five levels. Day 26 to 30 of Frostbite Caves. Easy. So until next time, don't forget to keep dabbing on them haters!